Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Erin Roche. I'm the CEO of Candy and Flowers, a PR and marketing firm for the cannabis industry. And I am very pleased to have with me today um, Judy Yee, CEO and co-founder of Kazen, uh, maker of cannabis-infused beverages. Um, she is committed to normalizing cannabis and inspiring new ways to enjoy the benefits of cannabis through uh, beverages. And um, the, the mission of Kazen is to create a portfolio of beverages and brands uh, for different types of consumers that people love and trust. Um, I am thrilled to have Judy with me today and, and I'm hoping she can share a little bit of her story with the growth audience. Thanks for joining us, Judy. Hello, Erin. Nice to be here. Great, great. So let's just jump right in. Um, how did you get started in cannabis personally? Um, and, and how did that sort of evolve into starting uh, the company Kazen? Yeah, you know, I, I get that question a lot. Um, I think one thing I, I think would be helpful if I just explain a little bit of my background, you know, so, you know, I was born in Taiwan, um, moved over to the States as a first generation immigrant. Um, and I had a, a very conservative upbringing. My dad, you know, was ex-military from China. He totally subscribed to, you know, Reagan's whole philosophy about say no to drugs. So needless to say, you know, I had a very negative um, and false perception of marijuana and the people that used it and its effect on people. Um, and so when I told folks um, that I am starting this company, I mean, you can imagine, you know, people's jaws drop and go, oh my gosh, like what happened? Are you going through some kind of like, you know, midlife crises or something? And, and so it's been just an interesting journey in that sense. Um, but, but, you know, I really came to cannabis at a later point in my life. Um, I would say just about a few years ago. Um, I, you know, gave um, uh, my active lifestyle a break. I used to uh, run a lot. I danced for the Seattle Supersonics back in the day. And I had my daughter, and so I decided to take a break. Um, and then when I returned to that lifestyle, um, you know, it just was a lot harder in terms of, you know, the recovery and just my overall well-being. Um, things I used to do to recover and kind of feel better about myself just didn't work as well, you know. And so a lot of my friends at the time was like, I know this is, you know, kind of different, but have you thought about or have you even tried cannabis? Um, and so, you know, at, at the recommendation of people I trust, I said, sure, you know, let, let's give it a try. And, and that really was kind of the start of my journey. Um, and I thought to myself, gosh, you know, if someone like me with my background, my upbringing, you know, would be open to cannabis and then, uh, you know, eventually like having it be a part of, you know, my life in a big way, um, there's gotta be so many other people, you know, that are in the same situation. Um, and so that really was, you know, how, you know, I got into cannabis and really thought that I could make a difference, you know, in the industry. Hmm. So what does the name um, KZEN mean and why is it relevant to, to how you run the business? So KZEN is actually a, a abbreviated uh, word for Kaizen. So K-A-I-Z-E-N. Um, it's a, a word, um, you know, from the Japanese uh, culture uh, and what it stands for is continuous improvement. So continuous improvement in all aspects of life, in business, in your families, in yourself. And so I thought, you know, it's one of those philosophies that I've always kind of subscribed to um, in terms of my quest for always living a, a real full um, and, and healthy life. And when I thought about the cannabis industry, I was like, it is so, so applicable. You know, it's an industry that is nascent. It is highly dynamic, uh, full of potential. Um, and so I thought that would be kind of the, the idea and, and value that I want to create my company around um, is this continuous um, strive, you know, to improve, to elevate um, and really, you know, get this industry to a point where, you know, it is mainstream just like anything else. Mm. So um, you, you mentioned a little bit about your background. Um, so, you know, tell us a little bit about why you're focusing exclusively on cannabis beverages. I, I, I know it has something to do with the market opportunity, but also, you know, your, your, previous, uh, your previous roles. Um, yeah. You tell us more about it. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I, besides just, you know, 
having a format that I can relate to, you know, I drink a lot, um, and especially, you know, as a way to get, um, in, in nutrients in my, in my body and also as a source of medicine. Um, I really felt that with my background, um, which by the way is, you know, about 20 plus years in different, uh, food and beverage companies, you know, I, was the CMO at Earthbound Farm, you know, the early organic movement, you know, where organic at the time was just like this niche industry. And it was just really amazing, um, you know, experience to mainstream that, um, that industry. To Crystal Geyser, which was my last job before I started Kazen, um, and I really just always been this kind of like nerd around product innovation and um, I'm, I'm just looking for that next ingredient. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you think about it, you know, turmeric, kombucha, those are things that really just didn't exist years ago. Um, or if it was, it was like this tiny little like cottage industry. So I really felt like, gosh, with my background um, and also what exists in the marketplace in cannabis beverages, you know, just over two, three years ago, um, it just wasn't something that people would look to enjoy. It was something people drank, you know, to get the effects, which is super important. But end of the day, food and beverages, it's all about something that tastes good, right? That, um, and if you get great effects from it, that is great. But the, but the main important thing is it's gotta be something you look forward to that you reach for that you crave for. And, um, and so I felt that with my background of, you know, taking, um, you know, nature's best ingredient, which is cannabis, um, and only adding and complementing it with other things that bring out the natural goodness of cannabis um, is what I think was needed at the time. And so that's kind of what we did, you know, with K's and beverages. Um, if you look across our products, you know, we keep ingredients minimal, um, clean labels as much as possible, um, and not add anything that really isn't needed because cannabis itself is, is so amazing, you know, and actually has good taste if you find things to complement it. Mm. And so that's really, you know, kind of the tri the intersection of why I decided to kept, you know, beverages is not just great opera, you know, market opportunity, but really bringing my experience to the table. Mm, great. Um, I want to talk um, a little bit more about Mad Lily Spritzers in just a second, but um, Kazen, um, you know, you have a portfolio of brands um, of different beverages that fall under under the company. Um, tell us more about about them, and then I want to dive into the newest one that you've just launched um, after after we talk about those. Yeah. So you know, we we when we first set up the company, I was like, do we just do one brand or one product line? Um, which by the way, you know, from a resource standpoint, it's easiest to do, but I really thought about it and, you know, and felt that to create an, an industry, which is cannabis beverages, um, you know, the modern cannabis consumer is wildly diverse. You know, people come into it with different sets of experiences, um, people that, you know, been, been consuming cannabis for 20 plus years to people like myself who are early adopt or new adopters. Um, I just felt like, you know, there isn't going to be a one size or one brand fit all. Um, and so that's kind of what we, you know, decided to create is a portfolio company that has a house of brands and a house of product that will span, you know, across the different needs and um, occasions that people are looking for if they would drink cannabis beverage. Mm -hmm. uh, so under Kazen, you know, we've got three um, product lines right now. Uh, we have this uh, product called S-Shots. Um, it is a 100 milligram THC goodness, you know, so it is definitely uh, designed for the experienced user. You can dose it, you know, appropriately to 10 milligrams per serving. Um, it's great. It's something you could share just like, you know, a shot of a, a, a regular shot. Um, or you can add it to, um, you know, your favorite, you know, kind of mocktail recipe. Uh, we also have um, a product that we just launched, which um, is the Mad Lily Spritzers. Uh, you know, it's geared towards people like myself that just looking for this nice low dose um, and guiltless uh, drink, you know, so it's low calories, full of flavor um, and something that you can really enjoy with others or on your own. Um, and then lastly, we've got a, um, a Mad Lily Sleep Tonic uh, really addressing, you know, consumers need, which is even so you know, important right now during the pandemic, you know, around sleep and relaxation. And so we have a sleep tonic on the market as well. So Mad Lily Spritzers just launched. Um, I see them in the back there, the beautiful bottles that you have, uh, have, I know there are two flavors out. Tell us more about 
you know, why Mad Lily Spritzers, um, you know, I know the flavors are great. Um, I've tried them. I love them. Um, just tell us more about, you know, where the idea came from and, and, you know, the needs that it meets in the market. Yeah. So this was, you know, the idea that really kind of ignited me to, you know, quit my corporate job and, and start Kazen. You know, um, I've always had a vision that, you know, it would be this beautiful cannabis infused drink. Um, where my mom friends and, and gal pals would get together where we could, you know, let loose, right, from a, a crazy day of multitasking and, and whatever else, um, you know, over um, a drink that is something that you feel good about putting your body, um, it kind of elevates your experience and your feelings, but then it's not going to leave you, you know, hungover or, um, or dehydrated the next day because, you know, a lot of us parents and moms know, like, there's no time, you know, that is a break from what you're doing. And so, so being able to be functional and super alert and bright minded is important. And so I really felt like that was a need in the market and something that, you know, I think a lot of people can enjoy. Hmm. Um, and so, you know, so, so that's what it is. It's a, it's a line of, you know, this, you know, flavorful, natural fruit based, um, sparkling um, infused beverage, it's balanced and low dose. So it's got five milligrams THC, five milligrams of CBD. So you get this real nice overall, you know, total body and mind kind of um, light refreshing buzz. Um, it's also made with just real, you know, simple four ingredients, uh, natural fruit juices, you know, carbonated water um, and cannabis and some natural fruit essences. And that's it, nothing else. Um, so we don't add sugar or sweeteners. Um, and the calorie and sugar levels, you know, are, are good where, you know, you're not really drinking or eating your calories or sugar, um, unnecessarily. So, you know, so it's, we're super excited. There's two flavors. Um, I'll just show you, uh, we have the passion fruit mango. So mm -hmm. it's got this really nice tart, um, and refreshing, um, kind of flavor profile. And then we also have a raspberry hibiscus. So it's got this beautiful, like, um, you know, bright berry flavor, but a, just a hint of a floral note. Um, and so, yeah, so we just launched um, about a month ago. We started um, on the delivery service of Ease and it's going, you know, super well. We're actually um, out of product. So we're trying to get into the next production as quickly as possible. And so, you know, we're definitely looking forward to bringing this, you know, across the California state. Mm -hmm. Great. And, and I know um, we'll have um, a new flavor to introduce um, pretty soon, too. So um, we'll have the audience stay tuned for, for what's to come next from, from Mad Lily Spritzer. Yeah, just in time for the holidays. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, all right. So, um, you know, aligned with sort of the ethos of, of Kazen, um, this idea of continuous improvement, um, tell us a little more. What's your um, what's your view on the industry, and and maybe um, you know how we can continue to improve improve the industry itself? Yeah. So I think you know aside from delivering really great product in a familiar format like a beverage, you know, to really help bridge um, the future cannabis consumers, um, I, you know, I really see my role, you know, as a Asian American, you know, women. Um, CEO of a cannabis company playing a role in kind of changing the perception, changing the conversation, you know, about cannabis. Um, you know, it, you can imagine, you know, I was involved in my daughter's PTA and, you know, the conversations I've had, you know, in this past year and a half about cannabis, you know, it, it was remarkable because most people, instead of asking me why, 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 a lot of them were asking me, like, they really want to be educated. They really want to understand more about the plant how to incorporate in their lives. And so it's just been a really great experience, you know, aside from running a business, but really just kind of helping people understand, um, you know, um, and demystify, you know, the, uh, the, the plant, if you will. Um, the other thing I think it's just been, you know, really rewarding for me personally is women in the industry. You know, I, I think when I first created Kazen, um, I felt very welcomed, you know, unlike some of the industries I've been in. Um, I feel like this is one where, you know, it's, it's very forward thinking um, in that terms, you know, women are, um, you know, look to for, um, to add a lot of value in the industry. And so it's something that I um, personally want to continue to help propel is to create access 
to mentor, um, help maybe raise capital for other women in the industry, current or future. Um, and in fact, you know, one of the things we did when we launched Mad Lily last month, um, you know, for the month of September, all, a part of the sales from Mad Lily went towards an organization um, called Supernova Women based in Oakland. And its whole mission there was to, you know, provide an equal playing field, um, providing women of color um, you know, access to, um, to be successful in the cannabis industry. So it's some, it's things like that, that we're going to continue to look forward to that. I want to be a part of, um, that is really driving my passion, you know, to, to be, um, a CEO for Kaysen. Mm -hmm. Well, so as a CEO of a cannabis startup, uh, during COVID, um, you know, what advice do you have for others who are trying to get into the industry? Um, you know, what can you share about your experience that may help them? Yeah. So obviously besides passion for the plant, um, I think a few things, you know, that come to my mind is, you know, just, just get ready for this really bumpy dynamic, but exciting ride. You know, mm -hmm. um, I, I think one of the things that's, that, you know, really worked well for me and my company is this idea of like, tenacity you know it's instead of running the 26 point you know two mile marathon it's the century run you know so pace yourself um always expect things are not going to go as planned things are going to take longer uh probably going to cost more money um just be agile you know know that you're going to need to have plan a b c d e and be excited about that versus, you know, fighting it because otherwise it's just going to be full of, you know, disappointment. But for me personally, it, it's, it's just been great because nothing's predictable. Everything is dynamic and I have a chance to always do it again, do it better or, ch or change my approach to something. Um, and that's, you know, one of the things I would just advise folks as they're coming into the industry is, you know, unlike in other industries, you know, it, it works by minutes, not by days, or mm -hmm. not by weeks. Um, the other one is, I would say, really embrace partnerships. Um, that was something I really didn't expect coming in here. You know, mm -hmm. I'm always watching for my competitors or protecting my IP and protecting my, you know, my know-how. But, you, you know, really where I made the biggest strides or Kazen did is when we actually opened up and just like, hey, this is what we know. What do you know? Mm -hmm. You know, um, it is such a nascent industry that not one company, not one team is going to be able to do it and, 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 and do it themselves. And so, you know, we've been, you know, just so fortunate to have met some amazing other entrepreneurs and partners um, to help, you know, get our, you know, products out to market. Um, and so I think that is, you know, a philosophy that, you know, it's got to be embraced when you're coming into the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great point. Yeah, the ecosystem is so important, um, especially in an industry like this. Um, I know um, consistency is, is big in addition to the flavors um, that you guys have, the, they're, they're great tasting, but the, the formula is consistent um, and there's rapid onset and predictable effects from these beverages, which is, is not the case from, you know, the previous generations of cannabis beverages. Um, why, why was it so important to you to, to have, you know, something that is so rapid onset and predictable um, and, and, you know, at five milligrams of THC? Yeah, you know. So we, when we um, launched our product, or before we did that, we went on like, I call a listening tour. So mm -hmm. we went in the homes of different consumers, whether they're super experienced or curious and never tried. And just really try to understand like, you know, what is, what is getting in their way? What, what are things that are not working? How do they even discover cannabis? What are their questions? And so one of the things that we, we found out, you know, especially with, you know, I would say previous generations of edibles um, and even beverages for that matter was this kind of like, you know, you drink it and you're just like, okay, <laughs> you know, let me cross my fingers. Mm -hmm. When am I going to feel it? How long is it going to last? Um, you know, so it's just this huge like mystery and almost like, like you're taking a chance. Right. And, you, and, and any, when you're trying to create a new industry and trying to get people to try something and create a new habit, you don't want to have people perceiving it as, it's such a risk, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it should be something that's enjoyable. 
And, um, and so even my personal experience when I was trying, you know, different cannabis products in the beginning, you know, I had some, you know, rather, you know, not so fun moments, you know, where I'm like, okay, I'm done with this ride. It's been five hours. How do I get off this ride? Um, I didn't want that, you know, for my products. And so that was super important, um, especially for people that don't have the experiences to be able to have that, that predictable experience every time they reach for a case and beverage. Um, and so that being a, a you know, a non-compromising non requirement for our products, you know, we set out to really find partners and technology with technology that was going to deliver on that. Um, and so, you know, we've been super thrilled working with a group called Vertosa based out in Oakland with their micro emulsion technology, um, that not only, you know, tastes good, you know, really, um, complements the, um, the product, but really provide that predictable fast onset, you know, anywhere from 15, 20 minutes last about a couple hours. Um, so mirrors a familiar experience people have when they drink alcohol, right? So, mm -hmm. so that was, you know, a huge, um, premise, you know, in terms of how we went about innovating, um, and creating our products. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what I love is that you have different types of products for different types of consumers. So, you know, as you mentioned, the Mad Lily spritzers are sort of this bubbly, refreshing, um, you know, five milligrams of THC, no hangover, um, and, and amazingly, you know, uh, bold and bright flavors. Then you have um, the Mad Lily tonic for sleep. Um, which, you know, also tastes great and is consistent, but it's very specifically, you know, for, for consumers that have a need to, to help them sleep. And then S shots, which are, you know, much, much higher level of THC, but they're definitely for a more, you know, seasoned cannabis consumer. So I just love that the portfolio, um, you know, definitely speaks to different types of consumers. Yeah. Um, so, Judy, where, you know, you mentioned that, that you can buy the products currently on Ease. Where can um, the growth audience find out more about Kazen and about some of and about the individual products you have? Yeah. So we can um, or they can come to our website, you know, www.drinkmadley.com or drinkshots.com or on our Instagram um, we are also on LinkedIn. So my personal LinkedIn is, um, Judy Chen, um, as well as Kazen. Um, and then, yeah, so we, we just, you know, and we're on ease obviously, um, throughout California, but we're adding dispensaries as we speak. So, um, it's look, you know, you can always look for what's the latest location on our website and Instagram as well. So I hope to meet and, and connect with, um, the audience here at growth today so i really appreciate you know your time um for allowing me to share your story my story with you great thank you so much judy um and thank you everyone for tuning in um we'll talk to you soon all right thank you bye, bye.